Okay, I'm going to demonstrate um, changes to the regular expression store that I've been working on in MarkEdit. Um, these will show up um, in the testing interface that I've passed on to some folks. I want to give folks an idea of kind of how these should be working. Um, the, and then the, these uh, changes will make their way into um, all versions of MarkEdit. So let's go to the expression store. All right, so when this was initially created, it was created um, to store content uh, locally. And some folks had asked if there could be um, a uh, hosted version um, so that you could store local and um, have uh, publicly submitted expressions. So a couple changes that were added, you'll see there's a public ID. Um, so if an item has been shared publicly, it'll get an identifier. Um, you'll have an option to share an expression which has been um, set up and then uh, search public store. So let's start with the public store search. So I'll go ahead and click that and just search. It's going to pull down the options. Right now the I have a copy of a local and a local item and a public item. When you have when you're getting results from the uh, from the public store, you'll see this icon here, a little world icon. That means you're you're in the remote store option. Um, so when I click on a public star item, uh, you'll kind of see a couple things. So one, when I open up an item from the public store, um, if it's not my item, you'll see that the public ID has been blanked and the share expression has been emptied. So the concept behind this is that anything that I create locally that also is an item that I've shared publicly, I can update that item. Any item that I pull from the public store that I don't, uh, that I didn't create, um, it gets created as a copy locally and as uploaded as a new item if I decide to share the expression. And that's partly because the idea here is that regular expressions are sometimes very local. And so I didn't want to have um, an expression being updated over and over and over again, particularly when someone who the original person who may have contributed it may have a very specific expression in use and then have somebody else come and change it. Um, the synchronization when that happened would cause problems. So when you go to the public store and you download things, um, you basically get a new copy. This is actually true if I was to download this. I have a copy of this. I'm the creator of this. If I was to save this copy um, or create a new expression, it would create a new local copy for me because it would treat it as a new version. If I want to edit a version I've contributed to the local store, I want to edit it in my local instance. So uh, another option, you'll see that the, there's a close window button and a close button. That close button now clears this so that I can go back. All right, so I'm going to go back to my local store. All right, you'll see the icon went away, so I'm looking at my local store. When I open this up, you'll see that there's a public ID, which means that I've shared it. So here's the share button, I've shared it. This is the identifier inside that space. So any edits I make here, so let me just make an edit real quick. When I save it, it will save those changes back to the public store. So if I look here, you'll see that it's in my local. Go ahead and search across the public here. You'll see it was updated in the public store as well. So if I change anything locally and it's been um, a resource that I've shared publicly, any changes that I make will be reflected in the network space. If I have an expression that I've created that uh, is new, so let's go ahead and create a new expression. So I threw one in here that I was going to use here. This was from a blog post, so I'm going to go ahead and just put this in. So this would be a good example, so negative expressions. And this one here is an example of the expression. been uh, wanting to put in when I uh, do these sometimes I put in applicable functions uh, 
way um, somebody can search on those. And so I'm not going to check it to share up front. I'm going to save this, save this expression. I must have forgot to tell it I wanted a new expression. All right, so I'm going to do this again. I forgot to tell it I wanted a new expression. So I'll do this one more time. the main ones and so I'll go back and I'll save it. All right, so I saved it. So it's now in a local store. See, there's no ID. It's in a local store. If I was to search it publicly, it's not in the public store. So let's say I wanted to contribute it. So I go back here and I see that I want to go ahead and contribute this one. I click on share. And now I save it. And now, it didn't do anything. It just made it check the expression and added an ID. But if I go to the public store, I will see that it's now in the public store and I could download a new copy, share it, whatnot. So just like before, um, you can search either across all metadata. So, so if I wanted to search for things that are, says, say that they're um, applicable to edit subfield, like search edit subfield, and it searches the expression here. So you can see we found it, um, or I can check that out and search just inside the name. Only searches inside the name, not inside anything else. Um, same thing's true in the public store. I can search just the name, or the name and the, uh, or anywhere within. So those, are, those have been the changes. Um, just like before, if I hit the copy button, it copies the expression data to the clipboard. So I can copy and paste. Um, the expression engine works um, outside of the edit function or the mark editor. So you'll find the expression engine from the main window. Um, oh. Um, other thing. So when you're in the public store, you'll notice in the public store, you can't delete items. Once they've been put on, you can't delete them. That way, if somebody else grabs one and links it, you can't delete um, an expression that's been uh, potentially used. Um, inside the local store, though, you can certainly delete anything that you have that's local. Um, and if you delete locally an option that um, has a public store item, it will only delete your local content the public store stays, so you can potentially pull that back. Um, the last thing I want to note is one of the other changes made, um, because when I was doing a lot of this work, I was accidentally deleting my stuff all the time, Oops. is that um, inside the tool, there's now um, tracking of backups. So if you go to application data, configs, um, there is an expressions backup folder that gets created, um, and this will keep uh, three days worth of backups. It'll delete automatically um, any backups that are older than three days long. Um, otherwise, it's going to keep, keep them there. That way, if for some reason um, you make a change and uh, the options get deleted, um, you can go back here and um, you can see what the data looks like. It's just a text file. Um, it's got a dot back extension. It's just a text file. You can essentially copy this um, back into um, the regular expressions file, which is right here. Um, although, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, one option may be um, to allow people to store from backup. So I'll take a look at what that might look like. Um, but for now, uh, the approach would be to just you know, take the backup file and, and 
basically replace the uh, rig expression store. Um, but that way, if for some reason during this process, uh, especially early on while we're still sorting out the expression engine, um, if something were to happen, you can get your data back. Um, information, so the expression engine can be found uh, tools, regular expression store, it can be found in the mark editor, uh, regular expression store right here, um, or um, as I was doing at the beginning, um, inside of the box here, you can get to it. Okay, so I think those are the changes. These changes um, are just in the current version of the Windows version for testers. Um, I will probably be making this available for everybody um, sometime shortly, and when it does, hopefully the, the Mac version will be corrected and updated at the same time so that uh, all of the versions will get these changes um, at the same time.